Hello, my name is Kirill and you are watching my LEGO Technic channel. Today I'd like to share my opinion about new set 42097 compact crawler crane. This type of crane is called spider crane because of very specific construct of outriggers. There were many mobile cranes in LEGO Technic, but this type of crane is new and it is very cool. Of course, in transport position it looks very strange, but in construction mode it looks really awesome. This set has 920 pieces. Unfortunately, there are no new pieces here, like new 28 gear or extended linear actuator, like in 42100 set excavator. Here we can see two pieces in new color, uh, yellow gear rack holders and the yellow edge frame. Also, the set contains yellow panels, some other useful pieces in yellow color. There are eight frames here, four gear racks and four worm gears. The set contains five turntables, one big turntable and four small turntables. Also, here we can find many gears. 80s, 12, 16, 20, 24. You can see many black gears. Most of them are used for many handles. Also, this set has one CV joint. No cardan joints here. This is a crawler crane, so we can see 60 tracks, unfortunately without sprocket wheels. The crane has many stickers. As usual, I leave them for my own creations. The instruction book is rather thick. Of course, it has only the main model. Uh, this set has the B model too. Uh, it is compact tower crane. It looks rather simple, so I don't plan to assemble it. So, let's take a look to the functions. On a smooth surface, tracks roll bad. You can see that sometimes tracks aren't work. But of course it's a problem only for a smooth surface. We can see many handles. Many, many handles. Each outrigger has three handles and it is deployed in three stages. The first one, the second, and now I'll extend the trigger. It's not fast process and it takes some time to deploy all four outriggers. It's faster to rotate it manually. Of course it has special handle for this. So each outrigger has separate handles. It's really annoying. And uh, these handles aren't convenient for my fingers. Maybe I just have big fingers. I hope it will be more convenient for children to play with the model. So now all four triggers are deployed and I can activate the crane. Now I can't rotate it because it has locking mechanism. So now the crane is unlocked and can be rotated. But at first I'll raise the boom. It is slow process too. Don't like to operate large actuators manually. And now I can extend the boom and demonstrate the winch. To extend the boom I have to unlock the ratchet. Now I can extend it free. The boom has no lock like warm gear, it has just pin with friction, 
so I can extend it manually without problem. I think it's not a serious mechanism for Lego Technic. It could be much more interesting. And also the crank has boom extension. And now I can elevate the barrel, unlock the ratchet, I suppose it's the most convenient handle in the set. <laughs> I really like how I can elevate the barrel. Uh, the crane can't lift too heavy weights, but it's rather stable. In the rear part it has handle for tower rotation. So I can rotate it, but the rotation is limited. Unfortunately, I can rotate only from side to side. It's 180 degrees. And in the rear part of the crane we can see one more cool feature. Here should be placed sticker with control panel. And it's nice, it's nice feature. Okay, let's summarize the review. Now we have new type of machine in LEGO Technic and it's very cool. In construction mode this crane looks really awesome. It is a rather interesting toy, excluding of trigger deploying. This process is too slow to my mind and rather annoying. At the same time this set is rather weak part donor to my mind. There are no new parts here, usual gears, uh, no new large actuator, some dimensions of beams are missed and also there are no sprocket wheels for tracks here. So regarding the parts it's not the best choice if it is your first Technic set. Of course it's just my opinion. There are no complex mechanisms in this set, but this crank has all the features of real cranks. We can extend the boom, we can elevate the boom, we have really working out triggers. So it will be very interesting to learn how it works for Lego Technic beginners. So it is very nice average set, not a masterpiece, but I like it. Leave your comments and subscribe to my channel, new videos coming soon. Thanks for watching, bye!